everybody. We have another goodie that just came in. This is the Linant Base Pro 8K. Super excited to get this one unboxed and let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you the complete review on the Linant Base Printer 8K model. And I'm going to show you some of the prints that I've been getting off this thing and they are magnificent. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And when you get done with this video, make sure you leave some comments, let me know what you think of the video, and any suggestions that I can make the content that much better for you. And so with that, let's go ahead and let's get started on the review. All right, everyone, so I already got the printer up and running. And I'll go over some of the schematics on this thing. I uh, didn't do an unboxing on it because if you've seen one unboxing, you've seen them all. So to tell you a little about the printer, uh, it does have a 10.1 inch 8K monochrome screen. Uh, and right now I do have some transparent resin in here printing up the bottom half of the Human Torch for my Fantastic Four diorama. Um, also, it's got the Parallel UV LED light source. Um, so... Uh, also has a glass screen on the top, just like the other base and like the deck. So what that means is essentially if you have some resin that uh, gets out of your vat on top of that screen there and dries, cures, uh, then you can actually scrape it off and not damage your screen, which is very, very cool. So on the front here, it does have the same 4.3 inch color touch screen and your power button is on the front and also your flash drive port is on the side just like the other two printers. Uh, so the build plate size for this thing is a 218 by 123 by 244 millimeters or 8.58 by 4.84 by 9.44 inches. So that's a pretty decent size for, uh, for this printer. So it does have an internal power source. So you just have one straight cord to go to the back and um, it also has internal power fans as well. So this thing runs extra, extra quiet. So the one improved thing on this, it is a one piece vat on here. And of course you do get an extra FEP um, in case you need it. So the downside is this time you do not get an extra 500 grams of resin, bummer. Of course you do get your goodie box here with all of your goodies in it. Uh, with your strainers, you got uh, a collapsible funnel, you got scrapers, you got your leveling rulers, you also got grease for your Z-axis in case you ever need to grease those, your Allen wrenches, your masks, and also in here you got your extra FEP film. The other thing that's different on this one compared to the other base printer is you actually have the two shells. You don't have the full complete cover, um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, if you're under, a, you know, you for space's sake, um, you can actually just put this in a tight space. You don't have to worry about taking the cover straight up off of it. You got this removable one on the front and you got the removable one on the back. So that's also neat. All right, so let's get to the good stuff. I know you want to see some of the prints that I've been getting off of this printer and they look really, really nice. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is the first thing that I actually printed off of the base back here, the base AK, it's the uh, Archangel 1-6 scale from 3D Wicked Art. Uh, it's got interchangeable heads. This is, the, this is the one head here. Again, this is a pretty crisp and clean print. It is raw, it's not primered, it's been cured. And uh, this is the death's head right here. Again, a very well detailed. It captured all that detail from that AK. Um, yeah, so no shifting, no line knotting or anything like that. That double Z axis really did its job in making sure this print come out really good. The other thing is I'm printing the wings. Of course, the wings are a little bit too big. I'm actually printing the other one on the Lynette uh, deck right here. And this thing is pretty good size. It's pretty huge. Uh, and I did this as a solid piece and it'll actually attach onto the back back here. And uh, I've got the base printed out and everything. So yeah, I'm so far I'm really super impressed with all of the prints that I've gotten from this printer. So I've had incredible prints ever since day one from their regular base printer, uh, also from the 8K and this big monster right here. So yeah, um, for me right now, unless something else changes my mind, 
This is the best printer uh, right now that we have on the market. And I can tell you also that their customer service is top notch. Usually if I have to uh, email them or message them or anything, I get a response, not a matter of days, but a matter of hours, sometimes minutes. So if I need any help with anything, they're like right there on it. That's not so much the case with other printer companies, um, but you know, for these guys are on top of it. And um, that's really, that really goes a long way in my book. So this is another goodie that I'm actually working on right now. And this is from the 8K alone. This is the Joker, the Arkham Asylum version. This is from Wicked's 3D Berserk uh, Patreon over there. You can go over there and check them out. Link is below in the description as well. I am printing this one in a quarter scale. And if you can see the details on this thing is just un incredible. Uh, the printer really captured all of this. And I've actually been using some different kinds of resin because I know some printers are very finicky about some of the resin that they've been using. So all in all, I've used actually like six different types of resin, but still I've been getting the same results. I've been using the same settings on this printer for all of the resins and uh, they've been all coming out pretty good just like this one here. So when I said I tried some different resins, I really wasn't kidding. I actually printed this in a transparent resin because I wanted to see how it did as well. And uh, as you can see, it did pretty good. This is raw, guys. So this has been cured. Uh, of course, I've got to go back and prep and, and paint it and put the gloss back on. But this is part of the uh, Fantastic Four diorama that I'm working on. This is Sue Storm. Um, I've already done Thing, and if you missed out on that video, go back and check it out. It's up in the corner now for you. But uh, yeah, I mean, it turned out really well. No yellowing or anything. Um, and I've got Human Torch done. It's back here behind me now. Just come off the printer, so i got to wash it and cure it. That's why you want to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and make sure you tune into these videos when they come out. And also this one right here, um, I printed just uh, not too long ago on the base printer. And this is the uh, Black Panther bust from 3D Wicked. Uh, I do have to still print the uh, Chadwick Boseman head portrait. And uh, I wanted to show you this one because I know it just marked the second anniversary of losing Chadwick. And uh, this is such a great piece right here to have in your collection. Uh, I really love it. It's uh, printed in quarter scale and uh, the details are uncanny on this one right here and I really liked it. And I thought you guys would want to see it, especially since uh, we lost this fine actor a couple of years ago and the, uh, the impact that he played on the total Marvel Universe. And um, so, yeah, rest in peace, Mr. Bozeman. So whatever you can't print on the 8K here, uh, you definitely can here on the deck printer. Uh, this thing is humongous, guys. Uh, this is actually a Hulk torso here that I'm printing right now. This is a quarter scale uh, statue that I'm making. All right, there you have it, everyone. Uh, I've been working with a Lin Ant group for uh, quite some time, and I am very impressed with their customer service and even more impressed with their products. You know, all this time, I don't know if I've been pronouncing their name right or not. I would call them Lin Ant, Lin Ant, hell, I don't know. All right, everybody, so if you're interested in the Lenant Base 8K printer, there is a link below. It's available on Amazon now. You can go over there, check it out, uh, and order one if you'd like. 
And I also want to give a big shout out to my patrons as well, because we do have a new patron this week, Mr. Nathan Peel. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon, Nathan, and uh, you can as well. And if you don't want to join the Patreon, consider the super thanks that we do have in the description below as well. And if you're still not wanting to support the channel that way, just watch the videos. It's free and it does support the channel, it gets my content out there in front of other people who may be interested in 3D printing and painting. You can also share the video. And please make sure to give it as much interaction as possible. That way the content actually gets out there and um, helps with the algorithm. I don't know how that stuff works. I just want you to watch my stuff. And as you can see, I have a ton of stuff to paint now. But as for you, get out there and create something. Print, prep, paint, repeat. And don't forget, until the next video, we'll see you. Now look, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on this one, but Danny's big and he's just taking up a lot of time. But I promise you I'll get him there one way or another. Right, G?